right hello you guys welcome back to another video so i am getting ready to go do a couple of things here and i feel like time is flying by so i feel like i want to get all this stuff done today rather than next weekend because i don't know so let me run you guys down on everything that i have planned for today Day, which is kind of a lot but at the same time not really so i i am gonna go to the garden center and i'm gonna go pick out a monstera and hopefully pick out a snake plant too which i'm so excited for i you know i feel like this year i did pretty good taking care of my plants they're still outside doing good, but you guys know with the winter coming up, most of them will die. And I've enjoyed this journey and I don't want to kind of lose that drive of watering my plants every day or every other day. And as you guys know, I have a big, I don't want to say allergy issue, but I guess maybe. I don't know. I just have a breathing problem. I'm always stuffed up. I can never really breathe from my nose. It's been not even gonna lie to you it's probably been a year since i really smelled really good so i have heard so many good things about the snake plant that it's supposed to help the environment and the monstera oh my god i have a fake monstera outside but i want a real one and listen i just love how beautiful they are now they do get big which that would probably be what years down the line but i think i'm I'm not ready to go for harder plants because if you guys know then you know that snake plants and the monstera is pretty it's not hard to take care of them so i'm still on the easy path maybe later on i'll try to take care of something a little harder but for now i'm good because i get so attached to things guys like whenever I don't know if I told you guys, but I was breeding butterflies like last year and one of the butterflies was just born with a messed up wing and it just like, it really hurt my feelings. <laughs> like what? Like I did not expect to be that attached to that butterfly and I felt for the butterfly. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, like if I could fix its wings, I would. So yeah, I get pretty attached to things and that includes plants as well because they are living. So I don't want to feel guilty if somehow they die, which I hope that that's never the case. So that's one of the things that we are gonna do. And then after that, I am going to go to Walmart to pick up a couple things. And it's gonna be really exciting today. I feel like today is definitely gonna be one of those October days where we're gonna do a lot of, I don't wanna say Halloween, but a lot of october things so we're gonna get some pumpkins you guys will see i don't want to spoil it i'm really excited i'm kind of thinking of going for something orangey so maybe like that one right there do like a smoky i don't know guys listen it's been a while it's so funny because back in high school i used to do a lot of makeup and now it's like i don't even care to i'm gonna do like this shimmer right here on the outer corner i kind of just make stuff up as i go guys i don't really have an idea what i'm trying to do here but this palette smells so good this palette smells so tasty <gasps> if this was a food i would eat it i just finished with my makeup and somebody just woke up from a little nap a little nappy nap a little nappy nap yeah this is what i ended up doing super simple exactly what i told you guys to do i just blended out the inner corners that's it let me go ahead and get ready and then we can head out say hey hi guys hi guys so this is what i decided on something simple yet kind of giving the fall vibes you know i've never worn this one before so that's cute then i got my little brown scrunchie you know the deal and to top it off we got my orange coach purse guys okay. i made it to the garden center let's go i'm a little shy because i usually came here with my mom and so i don't know feels weird coming here as an adult by myself <laughs> 
this is where we are. They have great deals. My mom told me to come here. So, fingers crossed. Nothing like smell of flowers and plants. These here are really pretty for fall, but I'm not sure. I don't know how much water it needs, so. But these are really pretty. If I had a house, I would buy these for the front because this yellow, ooh, is popping. Found the little cart area. They don't want to look like the only one that didn't know what they were doing, but sure, I'm lost. Look at these, oh my God. These give me Florida vibes. Ha, huh, these are cute. What are these? These are something palm. I cannot read that handwriting. But these are beautiful. I don't know why I didn't even realize that they're selling those too. Those are huge. What? That's crazy. Look at all the greens. Take a moment. Enjoy the greens. So unfortunately, the garden center did not have any monsters or snake plants, which is insane. So I called a few places and I found a place that does have them. And we're here now, so let's go. Apparently both are selling pretty quickly, which I'm not surprised because I know monsters are very popular But snake plants, I feel like they're pretty like they're regular So it's crazy that they're also selling out. So let's go. So this is the place it's called Cornelius I know y'all can't see it, but it's called Cornelius. All right, so The girl was really nice and this is the monstera deliciosa the one that I want to get and then she told me if I wanted a rare one that's hard to find and hand and man-made which like Honestly, why would I want that? But it, let's check out the price. $89 for this little plant. It's crazy. But I know people go crazy over this this leaf pattern, so check out the wind. <laughs> it's windy. It's an understatement. Oh my god. And they also have snake plants, which I'll show you guys in a second. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I'm not really an expert when it comes to being able to tell if it has root rot or not. Um, really you would have to open this up to really see but this one looks pretty healthy so oh look and it's coming out with a new leaf ah beautiful so this one's $16.99 then we have this one over here this is a little more messed up so I think I'm gonna grab the other one and literally they only have two left or two three left what is this one? Oh no, this is another place. They actually have some snake plants right here. This is what they look like. They have a different varieties, but I really like this one with like a little outer highlight, if that makes sense. The wind is so strong that it's just knocking everything down. Oh, come on, let me help you up. Let me help you up. Oh my God, this shit is heavy. You are a big bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker big, you're welcome. Okay, so here are the snake plants. These are smaller ones. Wow, these are pricey. Didn't know snake plants were this expensive. I swear I didn't. I thought they were like $8. Oh, they have smaller snake plants. Sorry guys, I was on the phone with my mom. But I picked up a more expensive snake plant, but they have this one. This one's smaller. Uh, let's see, so I have, I grabbed this one. This is the one I grabbed. She also sent me a Monstera that looks really good, actually. It looked really healthy, really good. So I don't know if I should get the one that she sent me or this one. I think I'll take a bargain for it and get this one. As far as cactus, I hate cactus, guys. I accidentally touched one and it stabbed me. So, boo, cactus. I'm scared of them. Oh, look at this little like pumpkin area. So cute. I love it. Very nice. I love all these colors. Look at this little display. I like these. I don't know what they're called, but I like this little... That one's so cute. Got some hay, and what do you know it? Christmas is here. <laughs> so we secured the plants, but I guess I didn't really think this through because I have other things to do. <laughs> and this is not my last stop. It should have been my last stop, but in my defense, I was worried that somebody was going to get my snake plant and my monstera. And the monstera was valid because they only had two left. So, it feels so good checking things off my list. There you go. You, can, you guys can see Cornelius right there. Yeah, check out Cornelius, guys. The staff was super great. Super awesome. Compared to um, the garden center, I didn't tell you guys this, but like, I asked two people for help and they weren't really helpful. And then the second guy that asked for help, he was kind of like, yeah, give me a second. I came from the garden center and landed exactly where all the Christmas stuff is at. How ironic. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. People are already shopping for Christmas trees. I've actually already seen people put up Christmas stuff, which is crazy. 
Actually, let's see if we find like a little dog ornament for spider. Oh, this one's so cute, but that's that's more decor than Christmassy. Okay, let's see. Do we see spider over here? Or we could do a spider, I guess. They're ready. I'm ready. The heck? <laughs> the only downside about coming in from the garden center is the fact that you have to go all the way to the front for the cart. I guess I knew I was coming. Dog apparel. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. Oh. Now why would they do that? There's nothing really calling for me, but these are cute, guys. We got options for $10. Oh my god. Look at these spooky candles. Look. So cute. I like this one. R.I.P. Ooh. This black one. Nice. Okay, okay. All right, let's 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 go for what we came for. Wow, I don't know. They had this slow feeder ball here for $4. I forgot how much I've got mines for, but she needs a new ball. I don't know if you guys are seeing her ball, but her ball is messed up. She busted it down, <laughs> which is fine. That means she's having fun, but I'll have to find some of like the colors that she can see. Again, I'm getting distracted. Let's move on. All right, this is the one I use. Remember, I have eczema, so I have to use something with no smells, unfortunately. All right, I found the pumpkin. I'm gonna get this one. It is 100% pumpkin, and on the back, you can look at the ingredients, and it says pumpkin. Make sure that if you get Libby's, you get just pumpkin and not the pumpkin mix. I found the little pumpkins right here. I'm trying to see, like, <laughs> about how big is her head. <laughs> You guys will see why that's important. I think maybe this right here, this won't work. I don't know, but we gotta make it work. This one looks pretty good. I think I'll go with this one. All right, real quick before I leave, I did just wanna check out the little Halloween area and show you guys what they have. I like the little decorations. I like to look at these. Like this. Oh, look at this. You can even paint your face with different Halloween ideas, costumes. On my way out, of course, I get tricked by Christmas. These would look really pretty on the console table at the entrance. That's really pretty. $9, and they're kind of velvety. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, anytime you go to Walmart, be prepared to get hit on. It always happens. Now I'm here at Lowe's real quick because I realized that as I was leaving the parking lot of Walmart, I never looked at the pots. So I want to see if they have anything affordable. So here at Lowe's, they have mini Monsteras and they're $16.99. So the one that I got was way bigger, but I will say I love the pot here. So the pot is nice. With mine, I didn't get a pot, just the standard. These are $12, so this is also better well, better priced with this pot right here. Ooh, look at these pots, guys. These are different. I like these. So these are all the ones that are on clearance, so there's the ones that are dying, unfortunately. But one day, I'll come and get one of these and save them. But right now, I'm on my own journey, guys. This one's $20. Oh my God, it has no leaves. Oh, poor baby. Hey guys, I made it home and I realized that it's four o'clock and it's way past spiders eating time. So you guys know I got her this 100% pure pumpkin. So I'm gonna give her like a little shake, like a little Starbucks drink, put it that way. So we're gonna get some ice. I'm probably gonna use like two and then a little bit of this. I'm not gonna use all of it. She's a baby, so. And then I was looking everywhere for the pup cup whipped cream, couldn't find it. So I've seen that people give their dogs this. So I'm gonna give her obviously just a little bit on the topping. So yeah, she is going to thank me. So before I went home, I actually tried to get a Starbucks cup, but they closed it down for whatever reason. So we're gonna use this. Honestly, it's more practical for her anyway, so she can put her whole face in there. I feel like Whenever dogs get like a puppuccino, it's hard for them to put their face in there. I don't know. It looks like it hurts, so this is better anyway. So I'm going to put two ice cubes in here. Now, you know what? We're going to get the blender. We're going to blend this. Oh, we're going to blend this up first. I know the lighting's trash, but I'm trying to hurry up because I feel so bad that she hasn't ate. I'm going to put four ice cubes now, then I'm going to blend it. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to... Open this up with my new can opener. I don't even know if I showed you guys, but man, the can opener that I had before was so bad. And this one's so fast. It's insane. 
see how fast I opened it? With my old can opener, this would have took like five minutes. I'm not even kidding. I've noticed that like with some things it's a hit, but with some things it's a miss as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not even gonna use a big spoon. And if I had some kefir, I would kefir, whatever it's called, I would add it in there, but I don't have any kefir, unfortunately. I literally just ran out of it this morning. I'm gonna do like three scoops of that. And if you give your dog honey, make sure that it's 100% pure honey. So, again, if you look at the back, it should just say honey. <laughs> just honey, no added ingredients. So I'm going to put the honey in there. Also, this is our first time trying honey too, so nervous slash excited. Like a little shake. I really wish I had some type of drink. Alright, this might be a complete fail without any type of like milk for dogs, but... Listen, I'm sure she'll enjoy it. So something's better than nothing. And I couldn't get the ice to fully crush. So dogs can eat ice. So it's fine. Kind of looks like baby food. <laughs> this is what it's looking like. I mean, it actually doesn't look nasty. It just looks like baby food. And I spice it up for her. Not only is it good for humans, but dogs like it too so and bam oh that's right before i forget um in the video that i saw you could like sprinkle some stuff that dogs like i'm gonna sprinkle some oatmeal my bad y'all i meant oats <laughs> trying to make the presentation looks cute even though it looks horrible already but all right then we are done that's it we're done so i'm gonna give this to her I'm nervous I tell you guys, she'll eat anything, but oh, she's wiggling her tail. She said, hmm, what is this? New stuff. Okay, okay. I think spider approves, guys. <laughs> she looks so cute. All right, we're going to give her some space. So yeah, you guys, that is my little pumpkin recipe that I hope she likes so I can make it again because I do have, obviously, a lot left over from that can now let's take care of my two new plants i have this one right here that i think will work for the monstera but for this one my mom said to hold off because she has some pots for me so hopefully she can give me a pot here's how i'm going to approach this outside i brought my yoga mat out here because i'm going to sit on the floor and I don't like sitting with the ants, so I'm gonna sit right here. We're gonna open the Monstera up. She's here as the special guest. Don't we look pretty? Don't we look so pretty, Pepe? We just look so peaceful right here. Don't we look so pretty? I have my little tools. I got these from, um, whole, no, 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 what is it called? Hobby Lobby. They were on a big sale. I believe those were like $3, and it's a lot more tools, but uh so far i just uh, <laughs> so far i just have these out right now but if i need more really i should bring my scissors out huh i should but that's in my face okay right there is good spider no no that's family that's family you can't do that that's sister no don't do that don't do that that's your sister no <gasps> she just ate a Spider, no! Yeah. You can't eat her. That's not nice. Why'd you do that? She's in pain now. By the way, that plant back there, it's a fake monstera. That's, it's hilarious. All right, Spider. Look, you got your toys. I brought you your little bone in the ball. Look. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, this is gonna take a lot of work. Now, I've never actually repotted a plant, so I'm nervous. I don't want to break any roots. And after I get to what I think is a lot of the soil out, stop! Then I'm going to take it inside and wash it off. That way, it's easier for me to do this. And this soil is so wet. Pot because a lot of times when you buy no. plants from a garden center they have wood rot and you see all those roots 
But if I do break the roots, it's fine because it has so many roots, it's fine. So get the soil out? Basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm sure. No, I'm not the best at this, guys. You guys can tell that I... Look, look at the cat. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Look. Oh, what was that? The cat is teasing her. Don't get dirty. Please don't get dirty, baby. Baby, please don't get dirty. Don't get dirty. Can you sit? Now, it doesn't smell rotten. It doesn't smell nasty. Rotten, no, it does not. So that's good. But I will say the soil is very wet and I feel like it's just like sitting there, you know? Fake nails and dirt are not a good combo. I am gonna go take this into the sink and get in there. This is what I was able to do. Right here. I know it could look better, but again, I didn't want to break any roots. So, are you eating dirt? Don't eat dirt, spider. Do not eat dirt. After a lot of thinking, I decided I am going to change the monster to go in this pot. It's a lot bigger. I just feel like it doesn't make sense for me to put it back in the same small pot again. So, I just decided to do it on this one. Now, that's a little risk, but I'm going to take it. So, what I do is I am putting the I'm putting the pot that it came in in here and then I'm putting the s soil all around here. That way we can easily put the plant in here. One more look at the roots. If you guys have any advice, anything that I should get rid of, let me know. If you can pull it and it comes off, that means that it's not a good root. And honestly, you guys will be able to tell if it's a bad root. And I'm gonna have to get it a little pull for it soon really ASAP, but I'll have to order that on Amazon. I saw some really good ones. All right, this is what I have so far. I'm debating if I should actually just cut the whole thing. Like, this one's not looking as healthy as the other ones. Like, if I should just cut this whole thing I think I should okay I'm sad to see it go but it looks so much better now so let's take it inside and do some work now I'm gonna clean the leaves you guys can't tell but it's pretty dirty you have to clean them on stair, so let's clean it. Get a damp paper towel. You're gonna do each leaf. I cleaned the monstera. I will have to get like something specific to clean her better, like a solution and then a little glass to spray her with, a little sprayer bottle. And yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. My monstera gave me a lot of work. Thank you so much for tuning in till the end with me. And with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye.